This time I'm going to be living in a crevice base. This is probably one of the weirdest bases I've ever built, but it actually brings me good fortunes. But wait, you might be wondering what happened last time. Last time you see me build a base, live in it for a while, having PvP and plenty of raids. Then someone stole my raid and I found an amazing crevice that I wanted to live in. That brings us to now. I bet this crevice is going to be the hardest thing to find. I should have took a picture of what the area looked like instead of just taking a picture of the map. This is the holy land for farm as well. There's just nodes everywhere. At least there was when I was here yesterday. Was that the crevice? It's got to be up there somewhere. No, there it is. Am I even going to be able to build here? Yes. Oh, bro, that's going to be awesome. Okay, that'll work, because then I can walk through the crack. Yes! Oh, boy, is this... This has the power to be an amazing base. Thing is, you can't get no loot back here, which is annoying. Look at that for an entrance to your core. Right. Let's go get a pickaxe and that. Um, bring some metal over for metal doors. So that's exactly what I did. I ran over with a Tommy kit and everything I needed to secure this base. Hello, my base. My sexy base. Hello, turn blue again. Building blocked. That's because of his base. Oh man, I can't even go any further. <laughs> this looks like it's going to be a hard base for me to raid. Oh, hello. Oh. Sorry, I've got a soft side that. I've got to see where that leads to. I've got a Sebi K's ass. I need 7k wood. Bruh. It won't let me see in. Why is the game being so glitchy? I've broken it and it's still there. Right, well, there's definitely a door there. I wonder if that goes to core. No, I think my game's really glitched out because I've got I've got walls and ceilings and that that are still showing up as wood, but I've upgraded it to stone. I went back to my old base once again to see what sort of things I had to raid the neighbor base. Oh shit, I've actually got some sulfur. I didn't think I had anything actually going to be able to learn explo that's just made this whole raiding situation 10 times better hey all how you doing little red in really good to see you chick hope you're having a fantastic saturday oh i'm unraided wicked you live down by uh where i'm moving to don't you i built an awesome base down there you haven't seen that base yet have you little red hen you'll see it in a minute because i'm gonna be going there to raid my neighbor i hope you're not my neighbor because i'm about to raid someone down there that would be awkward has someone soft-sided into one of your floors you're in b17 i'm in b17 as well has someone soft-sided into one of your floors out by your front entrance that would be so awkward if it was you now for those of you that don't know little red hen is the longest serving member of my youtube channel I share my server with her because she just likes to run around a farm and she causes no harm at all. <laughs> it is. Oh my god. I don't believe it. I've been sat here getting ready to come and raid you. Do you mind if I come and get access to your TC quick? I had contacted her and told her my server and the rough location I was going to build. It just happened that she built right where I wanted to build. Thank you. Thank you so much. It was only two doors as well, so I was right. Thank you. I had noticed a base near the crevice base, so I decided to grab raid materials from my old base and go raiding. There you are, buddy. Right, let's whiz through this as quick as possible. It was only one door. I think this was someone's farm base. 
think this was definitely someone's farm base. Farm base no more. Bye bye. And the good thing is I've got PC access now. So I can go and finish building my base. Right. Right, and that can be the pancake player. Oof, I think we got it. In case you couldn't tell, I was totally freestyling this base, not following any design. Right, that can work, that can work. The only problem with that, I'm a terrible builder. Right, that settles all that bit up. Uh, that's TC honeycombed, is that bit honeycombed? Uh, pancaked, no, that bit's not pancaked. Right, so what I want is I want to... I have that as a loop space. Bada bing, bada boom. Now furnaces in there or something. I think I could fit two boxes in that gap. Right, this is the plan. I think that's going to be a loop room. Shelf in that one, boxes on the bottom, boxes on the top, boxes on the floor here. That gives me a walkway straight into my TC room. Doors there. Doors there. Doors there. Right, what I need more than anything is to get some metal frags down here now. I'm going to kill and respawn. Go back to main base and run over with a Tommy kit. I really don't want to run out to base with all this on me in daylight. It's pit black now. It was time to transfer loot. There was one problem with that. On my way near the crevice base, I heard someone. Then I see the shadow. I'm just running. I killed one of them, but there was another one somewhere, so I'm just running. Holy moly, that was stressful. Oh, yes. Perfect. I can start moving everything now. I'll be waiting for night time for that, though. And as night time fell, once again, I began moving everything over to the crevice base. And after multiple trips, I made it with everything back to the crevice base. So I decided to investigate all the bases in the area. What's that wooden base over there? Check out this wooden base, then I'll spawn back at main base and uh, head out with a kit. Hit all the sulfur nodes, I guess. Hello, my friend. I like your base very much. Don't shoot me, I'm very friendly. I just ran in past, I naked. I like your base. Your, your base look very nice, my friend. I going now. Goodbye, have good wipe. Mate, I wanna raid that guy, cause he shot at me. I wanted to raid him and everyone in the area, so I went out for sulfur. Oh, there's nodes down here, let's go. Two, four, six. Six point six. Now, while sulfur and that smelting, I need to go out and have some PvP or something. Right, I don't think there's any chances anyone's gonna come down and look at that refinery. So let's go out for a little roam and see what trouble we can get into. I just see someone run down there to an abandoned supermarket. Looks like a hazzy. He should be dead. Light us, buddy. 
Oh, someone's just come out of that water base down there. And he's running this way. Let's see if we can cut him off. What the fuck? He's just gone into the water. I thought he was going towards harbour. Now pay attention to the name of this character. This guy becomes the pain in my ass for the entire time on this server. Later, buddy. And on my way home from that crazy little roam, I met this naked. So I decided to give him some free stuff. Don't f Why would you follow me? I just gave you stuff. Dude, please don't follow me. I just wanted to be nice to you. Don't make me now kill you. Dude, following me isn't a good idea. I was just trying to be nice to you, man. Please don't follow me. Thank you, sir. After making it home, I decided to do some furnace management and start to get ready for raids. Ah! Oh. I forgot about all my low grade in there. Right, we are definitely going to have enough to go through a base auto. Now all I need to do is go and find something that I think is going to be worth my boom. Right, now that that's all crafted up, let's go out and find a decent base. I found a base, but I've edited that bit out. This is the base I've chosen to raid, but there's people in the area. Oh, I see people over there as well. This is the base I want to raid. Be naked. Someone's shooting at me with a bow and I have no idea where from. I swear to God, if this is public. Yeah, right there. Only got 12 normal star bullets left. How's he not dead? Three hit. Where's the python? Where's the python? Oh, I don't got any meds left. And I'm not going to have enough X-Fly. What the fuck? Did I miss some bullets or something? I might have accidentally shot him with x at some point. So I went home and grabbed more x but I wasn't aware. I was being followed. That was the worst attempt at door camping ever. Would rather jump off cliff and kill himself than get killed by me again. Yep, of course it's the same guy. He followed me from that raid. Thing is, he now knows that I'm heading back to the raid. So I guarantee by the time I get back to that raid, he's going to be there camping. Oh yes, I'm happy already. Another jackhammer. Oof. This is good. I like this. And let's go. I grabbed all the important stuff and began running back to base. Would I be safe? 
Or would something happen? Now, if that dude was smart... No fucking way. What are you saying, punk? He was smart, hiding somewhere else. Let's quickly learn them armored doors as well while I remember. Right. Let's go back and grab the rest. There's not going to be room anywhere. I was heading back for the last little bits of loot when I could hear some footsteps. No guess who it is. I bet that's that same guy. He was coming to the door, can't we? Yep. No way! That was not a good time for my controller to die. Oh, thank you, mate. No worries, oh, man. Ammo, though. Yo, thank you. I mean, I don't know what I'm gonna do with it, but thanks. Might as well keep it immune. Man. What's that? Oh, thank you so much, bro. No worries, man. Have a good start. That guy I just gave the spaz to is now running directly behind me. If he thinks he's gonna catch up with me and try to spaz me. <laughs> He's got another thing coming. Yeah, now I know where you live, you little fucker. I'm coming for you, mate. Yeah. Sit down, buddy. I don't get why he keeps coming out with guns, but naked, it makes zero sense. Right, did I leave anything in this base? The amount of times I've caught that kid and took his guns, he must be so angry. Now home safely with all the loot, I decided to head out again. I'm wondering if this, um, Tommy's got enough Jura for me to kill one person. I don't know if it has, it's rather weak. Come on, dude, you don't seem to be leaving your base no more since I threatened to raid ya. Yeah, I could just start... I could save the rest of the explo that I've got and save it up for a bigger base like that or something, but, you know. How did I nearly fucking flop that? That man and his nail gun very much nearly killed me. They had me looking like Pinhead. The amount of nails I've got stuck in me. I don't know if I was hitting in there or if my aim was terrible, but something didn't feel right. Remember that base earlier where the guy was shooting me with a python? Well, I come to investigate. Ooh, let's go get the expo, boys. Huh. 
Man's got M2, LR, GL. What the fuck? Uh, da, 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 da. That's everything. Thirty-two bullets and a dream. I then did multiple trips to get the loot back to base, but on my way, I see little red hen building her base, so I dropped her some of the goodies. No worries. And after safely getting all the loot back, I decided to go out for a massive sulfur farm run. I was gonna try and raid a lader. The guy that's been annoying me all day. What was that in total? Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fifteen. Not bad. I should probably start turning some of that into gunpowder. I think we should take, before I start putting everything I have into this raid, we should probably take a little trip down there and make sure he hasn't already been raided. I mean, by the looks of it, his base is still there because I can see it through the trees. Right, this is our mission for today, guys. We need to get rid of this. Ah, he's a solo. See, I thought he, he was going to have a team. I mean, a base like this, I thought he'd have a big team or something. While we're here, might as well go out for a little roam. Server's kind of dead today. It's Monday, isn't it, man? It's always dead on Monday. It's 2.15 now, so in the next hour, I'll pop a jump up to like 80 again because everyone comes home from school and work and shit. Okay. Oh, I don't want that. We are. And after finding the decayed goodies and killing the unsuspected guy, I turned everything into gunpowder and explo, and then decided to go down to his base naked, climb over, and check how oh. I would raid. One HP. that an armored door? It is. Holy moly, this is gonna be harder than I thought. Hmm, this is gonna be a hard raid without satchels and, uh, without C4 and rockets. Oh, I'm bored of crafting. I had several things to do with my family over the course of the weekend, so this would be my last day on the server. So I decided to go all out. I built a raid base and put everything I had into raid. Place a box. I wanted to place a lot on TC and then we're good to go. I'm really nervous about running down to do this base. I safely got all my stacks of explode down to the raid base. I decided to take three stacks in to start with and see how far that gets us. It's gonna be doors upon doors, isn't it? I'm glad I bought loads of meds. Well, them three stacks got me nowhere near, so it was time to grab another two stacks. <sighs> Fucking idiot. Mother trucker. Mate, there's gonna be so many doors. I bet that's just garage doors all looping around. That's it, that's all I've got in me today. I have too much to do today. And that was it. Unfortunately, I had to stop there. Family commitments come first. As I said, I was busy for the next few days, so I just left my base to decay. 
If you enjoyed this content in any way, please consider leaving a comment, liking, and maybe even subscribing. Also, check out this video at the end here if you want to see me take over an island in Rust console. Until the next one, peace.